The chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, Zach Adedeji, disclosed that the Federal Executive Council has approved the renewed Hope Infrastructure Fund in Abuja at the end of the fourth FEC for the year. According to him, the fund will serve as a special purpose vehicle to attract the much needed investment in the country's infrastructure demand for developments. The establishment of the Renew Hope Infrastructure Fund uh, as the catalyst to actually drive our infrastructure agenda. So this innovative fund consolidates existing resources to drive economic growth and connectivity across sectors like transport, agriculture, aviation, and education, and other social. It aims for inclusive prog uh, progress, leaving no community behind. And this is expanding the initial Presidential Infrastructure Development Fund that we have. Adedeji said the initiative was a way of bridging the over $858 billion infrastructure gap that was deterring national development. Zach further said the fund would address the usual concern of genuine investors to have a quasi-government structure to guarantee the safety of their funds. And the key uh, objective of the fund is to invest in nationally critical projects in sectors that will promote growth, enhance local value addiction through backward, forward, and parallel linkages, create employment opportunities, promote technological innovation, promote exports. Potential sectors for focus, like I said, will be agriculture, energy, technology, infrastructure, healthcare, education. However, this one I've mentioned are just uh, indicative of what we do. And then what is our goal is to actually establish an innovative infrastructure investment vehicle that we will use to attract and consolidate capital, serving as driver for economic advancement. Zach further said the fund will for now give priority to the road, rail, agricultural infrastructure, port revitalization, and aviation enhancement. Adedeji further revealed that the fund would be launched by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu after presentation of a supplementary budget by the Minister of Finance and Coordinating Minister of the Economy, Wali Edu, to the National Assembly.